Yeah, so there are lots of things that you can do. Obviously, you know, a number of people are experiencing the the problem of budgets being cut as well. So, you know, having to work more with less. I think, you know, coming from sort of startup marketing, you're always going to have to be creative. You're always going to have to think of what you could possibly do for free or nothing or less than nothing. Um, I think for me growing up in Skyscanner was quite a good experience because, you know, we were a, a Scottish company and we kind of had the motto that we'd build everything, we'd do everything and we'd solve everything ourselves, which wasn't always the best situation. I can highly recommend not building the Death Star of an email CRM platform and actually probably using HubSpot or, you know, Pardo, Salesforce, anywhere, any other option than building it yourself because people have spent years trying to do that for a reason. Um, so that aside, um, you know, you can do some great things. As I was saying, like own channels, making sure you offer a really great consistent brand across your website, across every touch point, investing in things like your content, your SEO, adding value, you know, not throwing away kind of just awful clickbait kind of content that doesn't really come across as authentic and, you know, and genuine, I suppose, across um, all your activities. Um, really leveraging your staff. I think you can have an enormous multiplier effect if you leverage your staff and ask them to share. We're trying really hard to work with our teams to sort of say, you know, a couple of things that you could share this week and helping them understand how to kind of share. And if you think about all the people that your staff know and then all the people that they work with and all of that sort of huge multiplier effect is an amazing opportunity to kind of really leverage. And I think few companies do that as well as just go and spend money on on paid, which doesn't have the same results. So that's one thing I think is, is a free opportunity that you can do and set your staff up really well um, and then kind of working with other companies I mean who could you partner with who could you work with every company struggling to grow you know you can look at doing joint events you can look at kind of working with communities supporting people how can you kind of get out there that actually builds that network and gets people kind of knowing and trusting you especially when you think so much is shared in in the dark funnel that you can't necessarily see or track quite as easily so you know it's actually getting out there and, and being at the point where people are sharing and talking and remembering you you know and a lot of people will be you know rather than you might sort of track something. I remember one of the biggest mistakes I made was doing a campaign where we sent a load of brownies out and obviously, you know, sending brownies to people with dogs, Elsie, you've got a dog too. Um, <laughs> great because everything that comes through the letterbox gets eaten um, <laughs> so, you know things like that you never know we'd track that as you know oh, they came in because of that direct mail campaign but actually that was a terrible idea um mm -hmm. but they would come in and they say actually you know you did send me this and you know my dog nearly died but actually I saw you on a webinar and that <laughs> webinar was really really interesting and actually that's what inspired me to do or you know not necessarily we might have tracked they clicked on an email but actually they clicked on that email because they'd seen it as at an event or they'd seen a post by one of the sales team they're like oh I really like that company I believe in what they're doing so I trust them so yeah. you know really optimizing that kind of that free opportunity to kind of, with your own work just leverage your channels I think it's a great option yeah and I think it's that multiple touch points isn't it that's so important and I think going back to that point you meant about sort of really holding strong to the brand as well so that mm -hmm. they are seeing the brand at every point that they might have seen you it's always feeling consistent and it's always expressing um, that that message so that you can build that trust and they do recognize you the next time they see you uh, no, yeah. also when when you started I always remember when you when you joined you kind of taught me through the best ways to kind of leverage your content how your stories make your content relevant in multiple markets I don't know if there's anything you want to say around that because then that's a great opportunity for saving money um, yeah, no, I think you're right. I think I think probably one of the key things I think about sort of content, and I do think it's really, really good for startups, for companies where they don't have a huge marketing budget. To me, it's that kind of bootstrapping approach to mar marketing, where you're really trying to give value. And I always think the most important thing about content marketing is about being generous. So you want to give of your expertise and make that really clear to the marketplace and try and put it in all the places where your audience might be. So that's across your organic social channels and really encouraging, as you said, that visit, that 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 situation where you're trying to make um, get as many people to share it as possible, whether you're leveraging your own network, your employee network, but you're getting it out there so that more people can see it. And sort of, it's almost like casting a net out in, onto the internet, isn't it? And trying to draw those people towards you with that um, sort of the the sort of expertise that you're show, showing them. And then once they come into your website, that's the point at which they hopefully you can show show them some more content as they come in that's equally as relevant to the topic that they're looking at or they're interested in. And then gradually they start to trust the brand and you can start to push them into other areas of the website where they may actually look at your product and that kind of thing. And again, to your point about being consistent, I think that 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 is so important across all those touch points. And to me, content isn't just the blog post. 
It's how that's expressed on social. It's how the customer success team talk to the customer when they speak to them, how the phone is answered. It's all those touch points. And in a way, it's it's all content. You know, even the event stand in, in, is content. You know, what we choose to put on there, what we choose to showcase, the leaflet. It all needs to be consistent right across that piece, that omnichannel point. But in a way, it's all content, you know, um, and, and being really generous with all those points you have to make so that people want to talk to you. You know, that's kind of where you want to get to.